uh, hi guys uh, welcome to my channel for another video uh, if you have not seen my previous video so please check the description and click on the link to uh, see the video hello friends uh, in our previous video uh, we did implement this delete function and also implement these uh, methods here to delete the images from our root folder okay so uh, in this video we'll go ahead and implement a delete function but uh, uh, what we are going to do we are going to show an alert to user if they really want to delete the items or, or not so to do that i will go ahead and use uh, sweet alert and then uh, toaster to send the message so let me run my product uh, let me go ahead and run the project here Uh, click on product and you do see we have one item in our product list right so if i click delete it will delete the item also it will delete all the images with this item okay so but it is not going to show an alert to the user uh, we want to we want to give warning to user so then they can see and confirm if they really want to delete or not so let's go back to the list again click delete and you see it got deleted and also all the images it has under the image folder also got deleted okay so let's go ahead and implement uh, that delete uh, let's go ahead and modify this delete function so then uh, we can show an warning alert to user to do that let me go ahead and open this index cstml file right where we have link or button for delete the uh, okay to do that let's go ahead and open index page for our product controller so if i go to view and then click on product and then open this index page right in our index page uh, we have a uh, button where we call our delete function so here what we're going to do we'll go ahead copy this right we'll go ahead copy this and do this comment out and paste the copy and here what we are going to do uh, we are going to create a javascript function so here what we, we so friends here what we are going to do we will copy this line okay paste it here comment this line again and since we are not going to use this esp action we'll go ahead and remove all up to here and here we will use on click javascript function so i will type on click okay and then here we'll use forward slash i will call delete forward slash product forward slash add item dot id so what we are going to do here we are creating this delete function right so here we have to also type delete and in the bracket will pass the parameter uh, since uh, we are going to use javascript function so we do not need all this here we'll go ahead and use on click function and then i'll put the function name is delete i'll pass the parameter here under this parameter we will give the give the url for our post function We'll give the URL here, product. So this is our controller. This is our method name. And we'll go ahead and pass the ID here at item.id. Okay. So now what we are going to do, I uh, will go ahead, add a section here. Let me copy and paste it here. Okay.
So here I just add a section for our JavaScript. So we add a script and the source file name is product.js. Okay. So we'll go ahead and create a JavaScript file for product. Okay. So here, if you go to www root under the JS folder, I'll go right click on it. Uh, let me stop the project first. Let me stop the project first. Okay. And then right click on it, click on add, click on class, just type JavaScript. So here we have JavaScript file, change the name as product. JS, make sure the name of the file as showing over here. Okay. Uh, click on add. All right. So we have added the JavaScript file here. And then what I'm going to do, I'll go ahead and copy the code and paste it, paste it here. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and explain what we are going to do here. So here we implement the delete method or, or delete function. Right, and we are receiving the URL from this on click. Okay, so when user click on this item, right, what it will do, it will fire our delete function under the JavaScript file, right, and also we'll pass the parameter. So come to our product.js file again, and then here we are using sweet alert to send the alert to user. Now, uh, here we are using sweet alert to give he so here we are using sweet alert to give warning to user saying that if user click okay right they will lose the data for permanently and this would be a warning icon okay so our title would be this line and then the text would be this and the icon is warning and button is true so if user click okay this will delete turn into true then we'll come into this uh, if condition okay so in the if condition uh, we are using ajax okay so here in the ajax uh, type is delete and we have the url from here right it will what it will do it will route to our delete function which we are going to modify under product controller okay so before i'm going to do that i will go ahead add suite alert cdns to our project to do that we need to add that cdn to our share folder under layout page so let me go ahead and open layout page which is under shared folder so i'll go open this layout page and in this page i will go at the cdn for css so here i will go copy the code okay so this is the cdn's link for css for our toaster I'm going to copy this. I'll put it here. Okay. And then we're going to copy this JavaScript CDN. Okay. And I'll put it under here. So make sure you do type these two lines correctly. Okay. And then also this line correctly in order to work our toaster and then a sweet alert. So once we added it, right, let's go back to our product js file and here what it is going to do it is if the delete got su succeeded right it will send a message to our function and it will be true and then we will go ahead and receive message from our controller okay and then if delete has success message we will go ahead reload the reload our page and you can see we implement this reload page by loading the by, by loading our current base to get the updated uh, product list okay so now let's go back to our product controller and we will go ahead implement the uh, delete function let's go back to our product controller and then we'll go ahead modify our delete function okay so come over here so we do have our delete function here change this to http delete okay so now if you have not seen my previous video, please watch that. Okay. What we are going to do, we're going to load the delete. Uh, we, we're going to load the pro, uh, product that we want to delete. And also, we're going to uh, load the images URL that we're going to delete also. 
and then here we are using for each loop to delete all the images that we have for this product okay and then also we're going to delete the home image url for this product as well so please do visit my previous video to understand what we did here okay so once uh, we are done successfully i will go ahead and update uh, we will go ahead and remove the products from our product table and we'll update the database and then here what we are going to do uh, we're going to put a condition okay uh, let's say the condition is if id Uh, uh, here we will add a condition, right? We are going to check if ID not equal to zero, we will perform this activity, okay? And then paste it here. Uh, if ID is zero, then we are going to have a else condition. So here type else. Uh, in our else condition, we will return a JSON to our JavaScript file, okay? So here I will type return, okay, JSON. Here I'll type new. And then here, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to have success equal to true, okay? And then message equal to fail to delete the item and then close it and if we are able to delete right we're going to copy this line again put it here and here i will have success equal to true and here the success equal to false because since we did not delete the item so change it to false here and now we will go to our product.js file right so when we are receiving a json response right here we're going to receive the data right so here data dot success equal to true then we'll go ahead use toaster to send the message and then we'll go ahead reload the page to get the updated list of product okay and then you know the reload page means we are loading the index page okay uh, let us run the project. Click on product. So this is the list of the products, right? If you do not have a product, please do create create it, right? And then click on the lead button and i did click you see i'm not getting any response so i think uh the delete function is not working so we will go ahead check our index space for the delete function right so let's click on index space right and then here you do see we have code outside of the delete function so let's remove this put this code inside delete function okay so here okay now we have code inside our delete function so let me click on save again reload our page again now you do click delete before you're going to click on delete let's put some debug point right i'll put one debug here and then I'll put another debug inside the success message, right? And then outside of the success, okay? So now click on delete. And now you do see the warning that user is seeing. You see, click OK if you want to delete the item. So this is the title. Here you can see it. And then the text you can see here. If click OK, it will be deleted for permanently. And this is coming from here, okay? And this icon is warning icon. You see the icon here is showing warning. 
So if user click cancel, you see user can click cancel. See, uh, the item did not get deleted. Uh, let's say click on delete again. And if user do hit okay, it will call our delete function. You see, it did call our delete function under product controller and check the ID. And you see, we are receiving 1015 product ID, click on continue. So what it will do, it will get into here, delete the item, and then we'll return the JSON to our JavaScript function. So go ahead, click okay. So now you see, uh, if you do see data that we, are, the response that we are receiving, you can see the response we're receiving as, as a J JSON. So you can see success true message delete successfully. So since success true, it will come to here and use toaster to send the message and then after that it will reload the page so reload will call this function and it will get reloaded reloaded okay the, this index page will get reload okay uh, so click on continue and you can see we hit our debug point here and now we have updated uh, product list here right so let me go ahead and do this one here again and also friends you can see under our root folder, go to our image, and these all images will get deleted once we delete this product. Okay, so click OK, click Continue, uh, click Continue again, click Continue. Now we do not have any products, and also you can see we also do not have any images for that product here. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next tutorial please do share, like, and subscribe the channel. Thank you. Bye.